the Joe Rogan experience. Yes, that's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. Um, so uh, one of the things I want to – I don't know how we I – mean, it's not a smooth segue, but we were talking a, a bit about – Technology. Technology um, is – uh, particularly with the 2020 election coming up, is this idea of deep fakes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Fantastic yeah. stuff. Um, and the technology to create this nowadays, to create a deep fake, of it, which essentially just means you're doctoring a, a photo or a video mm -hmm. and making it do what you want it to do to try to convince people of whatever it is. Um, Technology is, is, is advancing, and, and it's stunning what Do can be done. Do you know who Kyle Dunnigan is? Kyle Dunnigan? I should know. I should know. Hilarious stand-up comedian, but he shines in doing deep fakes. And he's working with this other guy. I think the guy's called Dr. Fakenstein or the Fakening. <laughs> Yeah, two separate guys, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, one of those guys. But go to, go to his uh, Instagram and see the new one that he did with Elon Musk. He was doing them really kind of crudely with like face with, you know, um, face swap or face. Yeah, yeah, it's like a little filter that you get for mm. Snapchat or something like that mm -hmm. or Instagram. But now he's moved from that to doing this really high end stuff. Go to the Elon Musk one. Look at this. Yeah. Play this. Dr. Fakenstein did this. Yeah, one. okay. Uh, at Tesla Labs, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But, but, but we had a little snafu and it looks like time is slowing down and will eventually start going backwards at an increasing rate. So pretty soon you will become a baby again and be sucked back into your mother's vagina. So, yeah. Okay, now Pooh pause. Pooh now go to another Kyle Donegan video so he can tell what Kyle really looks like. That's him to the right of that. This is what he really looks yeah. like, which is fucking madness. Yeah. The guy's hilarious, by the way. He's an awesome guy, too. And he's got a, a great Instagram page, but his Instagram page is mostly him, like the gold boom. So the gold boom one is, click on that, because that's a normal one. This is one he did with the filters without Dr. Fakenstein. Look at this. See how it's kind of creepy, yeah, fake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, play that. So. Ellen DeGenesaurus uh, seems friendly, but, 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 uh, uh, don't get too close to her. She'll uh, bite your fucking head off. Uh, just ask the... Uh, Mm, Porsche Raptor. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, <laughs> and that's Dialogue. Ray Liotta. <laughs> right. yeah. Ray, like Ray Liotta's always smoking. The, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Although he gave it up. I remember. <laughs> yeah. But in the videos, he's always smoking yeah. in this. But look, it's it's bad enough that it's extra hilarious because it's bad. Mm -hmm. But the new one that he did with Elon Musk is not bad. It's it's too. It's good. not bad. Like, look at the Caitlyn Jenner one. Go to that Caitlyn yeah. Jenner one on the far right. That's fucking genius. Click on this one. Carefully, Kylie. I have something serious to tell you. Yeah. When you had your surgery years ago, I buried your old face in a pet cemetery by accident. And I'm sorry to say it's back. Yum, yum. Ah, oh, yeah. there it is. <laughs> Get down, Kylie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, but those those are my favorites. <laughs> he has the Kardashians. The only that's the only way they talk. They just say yum yum, and then he knows what they're saying. Sort of like Groot in the Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh god. I don't, I, I don't know how I, I miss these things. I well, clearly I'll watching you, the wrong bro. shit on, just, on the internet. Well, you're um, a former CIA guy. Yeah, I should know this. You're, stuff, you're doing important things. Yeah. You don't have time for Kyle Dunn. Uh, yeah. Well, but this, the, but what you just shown. I mean, people look at that and they go, okay. And then, but the, you're right. The Elon Musk thing is getting closer to the That one's to creepy. That could bone. be a real guy. But like, you could have someone like that say, give me a million dollars or I'll blow your house up. Or just come on. Yeah. And imagine if he gave, uh, you know, some off-the-cuff uh, financial data on, on Tesla. Mm -hmm. You know, talked about sure. it as if, as if he'd just come out of a shareholder call and yeah. now he was releasing some information. I mean, think about what that means to the, the all of a sudden the stock price of, of a company if, yes. if, if that happens. But um, the quality is is so far beyond even that now that can be done by and we're talking mostly state actors like like russia and so the the, the problem we're facing now is it's not just everybody's kind of kind of aware of you know the the sort of the tweetiverse or whatever the twitter and um the trolls that exist on there and the bots and all of that but it's the video the ability to do the video they, mm -hmm. they released one uh, one was done not too long ago with nancy pelosi and it all it did was slow down her speech just slightly, but just enough to make it sound as if she was slurring her words. Maybe she'd had a couple of drinks, and that thing was blasted all over social media. And people to this day still think, and they still talk about it, like you know, she's kind of losing it a little bit, and right. and 
That I'd like would, her more, by the way, if she did that. <laughs> yeah, I think she, she might make up. a little more sense. Yeah, um, get a little lightened up, lady. Yeah, You're worth yeah. $100 million, and no one knows why. <sighs> you should be out there partying. I'm sure it was all... Oh, so legit. Yeah. She earned yeah. that $100 yeah. million. Dollars. Mm. For um, sure. There's definitely no shenanigans, no legal no. shenanigans. No, there's nothing like that happening up on Capitol Hill. Um but it, it, so th- this this is a it's something that people should watch. It's something that people should you know read up on a little bit, look at it, because the technology is advancing so quickly that the effort to combat it, the effort to detect it, and there's some companies out there, and the, and, and certainly the, the the government is is working to do that. DARPA and some others are working, but the effort to try to identify doctored videos, right? Particularly when you're talking about elections campaigns. Mm. Um, is is it, it's going to be uh, an increasing problem that we're not really discussing that much. Right. Congress is paying a little bit of attention to it right now, um, but it's uh, it's really problematic. And there's there's things that that you used to be able to look for, right? Lighting and 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 noise and just sort of the movements of the face, uh, what they call micro heartbeats and and and. All the little things is the, is the subject in the video blinking, for instance. When you doctor it, sometimes it, the, the blinking wouldn't be there, and that was a tell. But the the people involved in all of this and creating these deep fakes are working, um, you know, at such a pace that they're getting ahead of that. So uh, it's I mean it's fascinating. So anyway, they're coming up with ways to try to counter it. But I guess the the biggest point is it, it sounds like a public service announcement is people need to be aware of it. And they need to be smart about – of course, they won't be. Everybody goes to the Internet, and they, they lose their minds, and they believe whatever it is that they read that agrees with their opinion. Sure. And there's no bothering of uh, checking you know, uh, whether anything is actually legit anymore or not. But if you – know, that would be my one piece of advice. Going into 2020, starting now – Pay attention. Don't believe anything you see until you prove it. And that's part of the problem, too, right? See, we now, we I stop was, believing anything we see. Right. But yeah. if I was a skeptical person – right. If I was a uh, conspiracy-minded individual, I'd say, but you're not. This yeah. guy who used to work for the CIA is telling us not to believe the news. Wait, I see what you're saying. What I'm saying is, uh, you're setting us up. Uh, okay, well, it's time for me to go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, right? Uh, wouldn't wouldn't yeah. a normal skeptical person want to think like, why is he telling yeah, us that? I, I guess mean? I guess I'm saying I'm saying it wrong because you're right. I don't mean to say. I don't mean to imply. I guess what I'm saying is trust, uh, but verify, right? Mm. When, when, when you're looking at, at video of a candidate or you're looking at anything really on the internet now, just be aware of the capabilities. Maybe that's a better right. way of putting all of this because uh, you're right. You don't want the, Part of the problem and one of the things that Russia does and, and others who are involved in this whole propaganda effort, um, one of the things they do want to do is undermine our confidence, obviously, in media. So, right. you know, by me saying, don't believe what you see, I'm kind of feeding into that. So you're right. I shouldn't, I shouldn't go that route. Be aware of what the capabilities are. Pay attention. Everybody should just be a little bit smarter about what they're doing. That's all I'm saying. So, and yeah. also, what we're looking at now is so much more powerful than what we had three or four years ago. Mm-hmm. I mean, three or four years ago, this technology was not available for the consumer, but now it is. Well, there, there was. I mean, you think about it. If you, not to get too deep, uh, but if you think about the. the Photography. How long has photography been around? There have been efforts to manipulate photography, right? So, sure. the, the, so altering photographs has been around almost as long as the the, the medium itself. Um, you go to uh, Photoshop. Um, that kind of put it all in the hands of the consumer. You know mm-hmm. um, what you were talking about: face uh, swap, uh, the new face app to age people. Yeah. Um, all these things make it easier for whoever's got a smartphone to try to do this. But what you really and and that's a problem as well. But one of the things that you really have to worry about is, again, sort of the state actors, like a Russia. I mean, well, and, the Ru- and, Russia yeah. was behind the face swap thing. Well, yeah, and that's a good the point. The face app thing. Right. There are Russian companies that are uh, pushing this technology out there. And what are they doing? Uh, uh, you know, you, every time you do that, it's recording data about you. Well, not only right? that, you have to give your name and your email right. to get that application. And right. then they have a photo of your face that correlates with your name and your email. Yeah. So what they've done is they've gathered up more than 150 million emails and faces. Yeah. And they have data on people. Yeah. That is that's pretty p- powerful stuff. Like, if you think about what Facebook has done, right? What Facebook has made billions and billions of dollars by essentially mining data, right? That's what they're about. Right. Google's the same thing. They're mining data. 
Well, Russia managed to do that with 150 million people in a very, very short amount of time just by making something cute. Oh, let's see what I look like when I'm 100. Right. Now, what do you think they're doing with that data? They're, they're slicing and dicing this, trying to understand the American electorate, right? Yeah. They're, gonna, they're not going to stop doing what they did. And they've been doing this forever. We talked about this before. They've been doing this since 1940s, right? Mm -hmm. Busy trying to keep the U.S. out of World War II before they broke up with the Nazis. It was a, it was a, it was a serious breakup. Uh, but when they were still aligned, they were busy paying off journalists and buying trade unions and all the rest of it. So they're, not, they're never going to stop what they do because it's worked for them and it's just kind of in their DNA. Why, but isn't that also what the United States does as well? I mean, there's got to be some sort of counterintelligence stuff that we do that is – Sort of shady. Well, I don't know about shady, but well, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, justifiably <laughs> shady. How about that? I like that. Okay, that's a good term. Yeah, of course there is, and people always do that. People, every, every, you know, when I when I'm talking about if I if I'm giving a talk about. Uh, Chinese government's uh, constant theft of intellectual property. Mm -hmm. um, somebody inevitably will come up afterwards and, and they will kind of roll their eyes and go, well, we do it. It's not like it's just them. The U.S. is guilty of it, too. Well, you damn well better hope we are, right? Because if we backed off and said, you know what, uh, just you know, for the sake of being a righteous individual, we're not going to do any of this shit. You you would have to be either willfully ignorant and naive or just fucking stupid to think that Russia, China, these other actors out there are going to stop also, right? right? And we're all going to hold hands and unicorns going to flying out of our ass. It's not going to happen. So, yeah, I mean, I guess the answer to that is always the same, which is, yeah, you better hope we do it and we better hope we do it well. Yeah, but people are nervous about that, right? Like, this is my point about the military budget. Like, if you just cut the military entirely, well, we're all going to start speaking Chinese because some shit's going to go down. Like you can't just cut the military budget. You right. just you can't. You right. just, I mean, right. just cut it out. One, no, no military at all. We're gonna focus on ourselves. <laughs> yeah, we well, yeah. good fucking luck with that. That doesn't work. So the question is like, how much money should you spend on the military? How much money should you spend on counterintelligence? How much money should you spend on propaganda? I mean, there should be some money spent on propaganda overseas, right? Right. Because we're we're trying to manipulate them the way they're trying to manipulate us. The idea though is that we're America. We're nice. We're the good guys. We're doing it the right way, supposedly. Yeah. Well, That's there, we there like is that. Right. There is that. And there's, and you know what? Honestly, I'd, I'll be honest with you. I'd, I've always, you know, like, yeah, maybe I'm naive or whatever, but that was always my thought process. Me and too. It, you know, when we're out there in the operational world and you think, you know what? Okay, we're See, doing this, but we're doing it for the right reason. And people laugh at that or whatever, but, you know. This is my phone. See there you that? go. Look at that. See that look flag? Look at that. Long may it wave. That's how I, uh, when I open up my phone, the flag waves at me. Yeah. I got a flag behind me. I'm 100% pro-America. 